Hello and welcome to another episode of How Not To Write A Novel. I've not done as well today as I did yesterday, but I'm kind of satisfied with my progress. I've written a chapter and then deleted it again quite a few times, and I kind of tidied up the chapter that I was working on yesterday. I've not actually added that many words, but then I wasn't really intending to because I want to get this chapter wrapped up to a neat close. I don't want to draw it out for a couple of pages of unnecessary dialogue, things that don't actually need to be in the story. I think sometimes the words that you don't write might be as important as the ones you do. It's important not to include things that aren't necessary. I mean, I've got the got up to the point where George and Yuki meet Alex and Julian. I decided I don't want to introduce them to each other yet. I don't want the reader to necessarily know who they are right away. But um, I don't want the readers to necessarily know who they are right away so that when they first meet while investigating Walker or whatever else they're investigating. The reader can feel proud of it if they've managed to get it before the characters do, if they, when the characters first introduce themselves to each other. Um, it's not a hard thing to spot, but sometimes it can be better to let the reader make a jump themselves. So it doesn't feel like the whole story is being given to them. Does that make sense? I'm not I'm not really phrasing it right, but I hope you know what I mean there. But um They're they're running. George is slipping on the ice, feet flailing, Yuki is fast walking and somehow managing to keep ahead of him. This way, she said, not even out of breath. And wait a second. A couple came around the corner, a young woman and an older man. Maybe a father and his daughter, it was hard to be sure. And there was no time to think about why normal people would be raising their voices in arguments so late at night. It looked like a lover's quarrel to George's inexperienced eye. But there wasn't time to make out any of the words before the woman leading him spun on the spot. I'll get him somewhere safe, she spoke urgently, now facing the newcomers but drifting sideways as her momentum propelled her across the icy asphalt. Can you slow the drinker down for a minute? A drinker, the man growled and reached for some kind of weapon. But George and his safety were already leaving. She turned back to face the direction she was moving and strode off as if a pirouette on an icy street was an everyday occurrence for her. Judge started to run out of breath after a few streets. His legs shook even more as he struggled to keep his footing. I, th I think that works well because it gets the scene over with quickly. And it's kind of clear that this woman isn't phased by anything. Now we'll, we'll go on with her introducing herself to George then cut back to Julian and Alex showing up late for an interview and give a kind of you won't believe what happened to us on the way home speech to explain why they were late for the interview. I think that's neat because it kind of wraps up all the loose threads and ties everything together in a way that seems to flow naturally. But I think I've done a fairly good job of it there. Uh, but now, because I've been a bit late releasing the videos for the last couple of days, um, yesterday's was done this morning, but I didn't actually post it until this evening because I went to YouTube's front page and got um, distracted by one of the recommended videos on there and then forgot to do it. But I'll try and get tonight finished and posted tonight then hopefully I'll be back on track with that as well. Um, I don't know what time the next video will be out. Hopefully it'll be tomorrow. And when it is, there should be a link up there. And 
if you haven't already seen it, there should be a link to the previous one up there, and a link to all the previous ones in the series in the middle here, or somewhere around here. And that's it for me for today. So all I've got left to say is goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow.